This video review is sponsored by Incipio, the art of protection. Go check out the new lab series cases for the iPhone 3G at www.myincipio.com. Hey guys, Tom with buymeaniphone.com back at you with another video review. And today's video review is going to be of uh, kind of an iPhone accessory. Okay, today is from a very familiar company. It's called iHome. You guys all know iHome. They make great products. But uh, we picked up this one. This is the iHome H or iHome IH110. It's the iHome IH110. Now, this isn't made specifically for the iPhone, but we'll get into that a little later on in the review. But this is uh, the FM uh, clock radio for your iPod. Okay, it's not made for iPhone, it's made for iPod, or I should say the little logo is works with iPhone. Made for iPod, it does not have a works with iPhone, but we're going to show you how it works and how, uh, how versatile it is where you can use it for your iPhone. But uh, we're going to check this out. Okay, this is the uh, iHome iH110. Not sure why I'm having a problem saying the iH110. But uh, we're going to move uh, over to the close-up camera, check this out in a little more detail, and uh, we're going to move over to the close-up camera right about now. So uh, why don't you join me over to the close-up camera in the den, guys. We'll see you there. Okay, guys, so here we are at the uh, close-up camera for the iHome iH110. Okay, this is the uh, alarm clock for the iPod. It's made for iPod. It will work with your iPhone, although it will make your iPhone go into sleep into uh, airplane mode. Well, it won't make it go into airplane mode, but it asks you, you know, do you want to put it in airplane mode? So let me uh, give you the runaround on this. Um, it does come with three docks. Okay, comes with, of course, your charger here. Okay, your charger, your three docks. This is for obviously the fourth generation Nano. Okay, uh, comes with the iPod Touch here and the iPod Classic. Does not come with a dock for the iPhone since it's not specifically made for the iPhone. Okay, but like I said, it will work with the iPhone. It just asks you if you want to put it into airplane mode. And if you don't put it into airplane mode, you may run the risk of getting some background interference. Okay, but let's kind of give it a run around. Okay, it does have uh, a uh, nice display there for the time. And I'm going to plug this in because it's on battery mode right now. When it's on battery mode, it won't light up. Okay, but it does have three different dim values. Okay, or four. Actually, off dim, high dim, medium, low, off. Okay. And you can uh, wake, or, uh, wake up to either a buzzer, an FM radio, or your iPod. Okay, so here is your alarm set. Uh, alarm reset and power, wake to mode. So if you notice when you put wake to mode, right now it's on a uh, buzzer. And then obviously, you know, if you put an iPod or an iPhone in there, okay, um, it'll ask you. So let's kind of put that in there. Let's put your iPhone in there. Okay, and as you guys can see, it's gonna ask you, you know, this accessory is not made to work with iPhone. Would you like to turn on airplane mode? To reduce audio interference so you won't be able to make or receive phone calls so I'm gonna say no on that I don't want to put it in airplane mode but your wake mode kind of let's pull this up here I'm gonna take this phone off guys so we could tilt it you know your sleep and your volume okay your FM presets obviously your docks go right in there the docks do fit in really nice and they look pretty sleek once they're in there okay and let's see we go to uh, alarm, you press your alarm button, and your alarm will, right now we're waking to the buzzer, so we can wake to the iPod, the radio, or the buzzer. We're gonna leave it on the buzzer. And then you can set your time. The time goes really fast, guys. So actually, when I set this, I've kind of gone past the time a bunch of times, but you can go forward or backwards, either way. Okay. And then once you've got that set, you hit there and your uh, your alarm is set. And then you press the alarm button again and you can turn the alarm off. Okay, um, also uh, the snooze button, it's a nine minute snooze button. Of course your FM uh, uh, tunes and presets. 
on the back you've got uh, your button for daylight savings time so daylight savings time you just you know flip it your clock adjustment button to set the clock adjustment your on off for this is a uh, resin 8 type of uh, thing it's supposed to give you more bass I mean it's all right and you can tell that there's a little bit more bass it's not a ton more bass but it gives you a little bit more bass in the speaker okay and then you're lying in so you can use this with an iPod shuffle or frankly any any other type of mp3 player okay and then your reset button and right here guys you have your uh, battery backup so there's a battery backup there in case the power fails okay so no excuse for not getting to work on time. So guys, overall, it's a nice looking unit. Um, here's the problem. The problem is, is that I usually like to wake to a buzzer. The buzzer is extremely soft. I mean, extremely soft. I've, I've slept through the buzzer before. So let's kind of, let's kind of set this. And we're gonna set it for uh, 6 p.m. See, as you can see, it goes really fast. We were on like 2 p.m. We're gonna set this for 6 p.m. That's kind of a, a pain too, guys. It's almost too fast. I mean, you want it to go around the time fast, but it's almost too fast. So we're gonna set it to buzzer and we're gonna wait one minute. And uh, I've tried turning this up, guys. I've read the instructions. It tells you to you know press the volume button up. Um, it doesn't get any louder than what it's gonna be. So um, I got this at Costco for uh, 39 bucks. I picked it up. I figured out. Ah, let me try it out. My other alarm clock died, um, and I'll review it. And if I don't like it, I'll just return it. Costco has a pretty good return policy. So uh, other than that, guys, it's a nice unit. It's a nice small footprint unit. It does have decent sound for a small alarm clock, but um, the buzzer is almost like a deal breaker for me. And here we go. And there's your buzzer. And it just goes faster. Okay. And then it'll get a little bit louder. And that's as loud as it gets, guys. And frankly, I've slept through that a number of times. So we're gonna hit snooze there, snooze. And it'll snooze for uh, six minutes. Let's kind of show you what the, uh, what the uh, iPhone sounds like with some music on here. So there's kind of your uh, your music, guys. And as you can see, you know, there's one out of ten, and it goes up to you know forty. So anyway, guys, it gives you plenty of volume. It gives you plenty of bass on there. Um, you know, good price, 40 bucks. Um, but frankly, I'm using it as an alarm clock. I don't always have my iPhone or iPod on there. Um, you know, so the buzzer, the buzzer is kind of a deal breaker for me. But if you never wake yourself up with a buzzer, you know, it's uh, it's all good. Again, um, 40 bucks at Costco. Okay, again. Um, it's not made for iPhone. It will work for your with your iPhone. I just frankly don't put a dock in there. Um, you know the Switch Easy dock might work. I haven't tried that out yet. These are round. They're pretty round, just like the Switch Easy dock. So, um, you know, guys, I like this unit. Um, the the only thing that I don't like is um, one, the buzzer is way too soft, and number two is that. Um, it's not made for iPhone. I don't know why they didn't do that. You know, made for iPod, you might as well just make it for iPhone too. Okay, so guys, that's the iHome iH110. Okay, you can, I'm sure, find it all over the internet. I Like I said, I got it at Costco for $39.99, so pretty good deal. Uh, great for uh, the college student, which uh, back to school is gonna be coming up soon. So until then, if you have any questions, you know, let me know. Make sure that you uh, hang around for our blog TVs every other Saturday. We've been having some great interviews. And uh, check out our monthly contest. Follow us on Twitter at uh, Buy Me an iPhone. And there we go. There's a phone call, guys. So I'm going to cut it, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great night.